Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for a mid afternoon update. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store to uh, keep updated. Okay, in terms of the uh, markets this morning, you have the Asian markets down uh, to a large extent. You have the Nikkei week, uh, although the uh, Shanghai and the Hang Seng more or less flat for the day. Okay, in terms of European markets at the moment, certainly uh, coming under some pressure, although uh, certainly have negated the uh, the bullish, or should we say the bearish reaction from uh, Jackson Hole. The FTSE certainly uh, negative this morning, well, more or less flat at present, negative to flat. You have the DAX higher. Uh, by almost a percentage point, the CAC up by 0.8%, mainly due to the weaker euro. Today we've had weaker German inflation, thereby igniting obviously uh, expectations of further QE for Mr. Draghi. I think the uh, meeting is in, on September the 8th. You have um, the weaker euro and obviously Mr. Fisher's comments today as well, that again reiterate the hawkish stance and thereby sending the euro down to 1.15, which in turn obviously helps the European export uh, picture as well. So. In reality, uh, hawkish Fed is actually a stimulus for European equity. So bear that in mind always, folks. Okay. Now, in terms of the uh, the actual uh, markets, in terms of economic data, we've had strong earnings from Bumzil this morning. That certainly helped the FTSE. Japanese unemployment rate and data certainly fell. We have the uh, UK mortgage approval certainly lower. Uh, European confidence and European economic data in general certainly weaker. We had Germans uh, highlighting the concerns from Brexit yesterday and today. UK CBI data certainly uh, weaker as well. We have this potential uh, root, uh, dispute with regards to Ireland and its uh, tax bill for Apple. That certainly remains unpaid. And like I said, Mr Fisher certainly reiterated his hawkish stance on Bloomberg TV earlier today. So again... If one were to conclude from there, buyer still remains bearish given the hawkish stance from, from the Fed and therefore uh, thereby you are looking at copper, certainly testing the lows, gold under pressure as well, the Aussie and Kiwi certainly under pressure to a large extent. So those are the two uh, variables to keep, uh, or should, should we say the uh, real uh, fundamental theme really is one of hawkish Fed and thereby uh, interest rates obviously are negative for growth going forward and therefore equity markets should be affected. Okay, so again, yesterday we did actually negate the Jackson Hole, uh, obviously sell-off. It'll be interesting to see how the market reacts today. Nasdaq itself particularly bearish due to the uh, situation with regards to the uh, the unpaid tax bill. Okay, let's look at the technical picture now. Let's look at a technical backdrop. Okay, so German DAX. Let's look at the German DAX version foremost. Daily chart looks like it wants to retest the, the highs back at 10,750, given the fact that the US markets have negated the uh, Jackson Hole sell-off. And again, it certainly is acting like a stimulus for European equities. German DAX is into resistance, but certainly no stopping this now, especially with weaker German inflation, obviously igniting expectations of further QE. Okay, so you are looking at 10,700, potentially 10,750, and even 10,800 potentially being retested. So again, certainly uh, be open-minded, and uh, don't be surprised if that resistance level certainly breaks on the uh, German DAX, okay? Right, in terms of uh, the unfilled gap, Really, realistically, you do want a, uh, a rally in the euro, okay, in order to really trigger a, um, a reversal in the German DAX or the NASDAQ flushed as well. So, bear that in mind. That certainly will keep the NASDAQ vulnerable to a sell off below. The French CAC at the moment, let's bring up the daily chart for you. Daily chart at the moment, again, um, nothing stopping this now in terms of retesting the pivot high at 4,500. 60 minute chart of the French CAC, really, realistically, it's just a bull flag. We're consolidating above previous uh, resistance equals support, so therefore a good sign. Okay, good sign overall. Uh, and again, looking to move higher. The FTSE 100, you are now coming into potential support at 6835. If that fails, then you have support at 6830, then obviously 6825, and then eventually at 6815 and 6800. So those are the levels to watch out for in terms of the FTSE 100. And again, a lot of that will depend upon commodities. We have had weaker data today from the UK. So again, keeps the FTSE 100 under pressure, okay? In terms of the 60-minute chart on the FTSE at present, uh, it still is a bullish consolidation, so you are still looking at a bull flag potential consolidation here for a move higher. Uh, but given the fact that we've held 75% resistance, you are potentially looking to retest that 6.825 zone again, 
on the uh, FTSE itself. Looking at the 10 minute chart, FTSE 100 10 minute chart again. Like I said, we are looking at 6835 support for now. If that cracks, then you are you do open the levels below. In terms of the daily chart, 6780 is a key. Uh, the, what's frustrating is that uh, after hours uh, we have with the FTSE especially being closed Monday as well we did actually revisit that 6770 zone so it certainly has held uh, after hours uh, and in cash market as well which is quite interesting so 678 you were to crack then it does open, actually open up the uh, the pathway to 6810 so bear that in mind okay right uh, the last index is the euro stocks so let's bring that up for you Okay, here we go. So daily chart of the of the uh, the actual euro stocks. You are into that Fib 60, 75 percent resistance. Given the fact that the U.S. markets have negated that, and also given the fact that this uh, equity market is certainly stimulated by the uh, argument of more QE, so therefore three four zero four five on fill gap above remains active. Don't be surprised that were to close. Sixty minute chart again. It still seems to be levitating towards that gap at three zero four six. So remain open-minded and certainly uh, expect that gap to close from my perspective unless you get a rally in the euro. 10-minute chart, the euro stocks again still being quite stubborn up here. Okay, still failing to uh, fall quite uh, uh, fall. So again, looking to uh, test the uh, high above. You do have the unfilled gap below at 3,000, so bear that in mind. And again, I do need to see a rally in the euro to really start the uh, sell-off on the European equities, obviously, or a flush on the US market. So open to both those scenarios okay okay so i think that's a wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 20